Many automotive companies, Nissan, Toyota, BMW, believe that the future of electric cars, the holy grail, the solution, the answer, the thing that will solve everything for them is solid state batteries. Well now, San Jose based QuantumScape, an American solid state battery producer has actually started shipping solid state batteries to automakers. This is the first. This is history, my friends. This does actually matter. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Newcastle in Australia. Great to see you. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all my friends from Australia, all my friends from America, all my friends from Europe, Canada, New Zealand, Asia, everywhere, wherever you're from. Great to see you. 2023, it's going to be an amazing year. Really looking forward to bringing you the best EV news, technology, and insights in the into the industry that I think a lot of other people just won't provide you with. Um, you know, that's the whole point. To look at the news and to break down what is really going on, not just to tell you what they say is happening, but what I think is really happening. First of all, most of you know my position on solid state batteries. If you don't, make sure you stay tuned. And I'll tell you what I think is really gonna happen in this industry. Now, QuantumScape, US-based company, is one of the most well-known solid state battery developers, and it shipped its first batch of 24 layer lithium metal cells to electric vehicle manufacturers for in-house testing. According to the company's official press release, these prototype cells are known internally as A0 samples and represent QuantumScape's biggest milestone for 2022. Previously, the California-based startup managed to come up with a new cell format that allows the lithium metal to expand and contract during charges and discharges. Now, expanding and contracting, it's a big problem, right? If it doesn't happen correctly, the cells don't last for very long. That's one of the big problems with solid state battery technology, not getting enough charges. Of course, the price of these batteries is still pretty expensive. So if you're getting a lot less charges than current battery technology, it just doesn't make them feasible. QuantumScape are saying they've solved that problem. The company says this battery is a hybrid between prismatic and pouch cells. And it's one of the key improvements that allowed it to move forward with development and send its first batch of prototypes to original equipment manufacturers or OEMs. Here's what they said. We're thrilled to share we have shipped our first 24 layer prototype battery cells to multiple automotive manufacturers for testing. Delivering these first gen prototype A0 samples was our key goal for 2022 and an important step in commercializing our technology. So are they the real deal? Well, yeah, I want to tell you what the industry really thinks about what's going on here. And first, I'll tell you what QuantumScape and, you know, all the EV manufacturers and all the YouTube channels are telling you, then I'll tell you the truth. As for energy storage, the same press release mentions that a single 24 layer cell has a capacity in the multi amp hour range without expressing an exact value. This is understandable considering the development of this technology still has a long way to go until it hits mass production. Now, like I've told many people before, they're probably the company who's promised the most in this area and actually delivered the least is, in fact, not probably, without a doubt, it is Toyota. I mean, you cannot argue otherwise. Toyota have been saying for many years they would have solid state batteries in their current EVs today. In fact, they said that all of their EVs in 2021 would be powered by solid state batteries on numerous occasions. They made that promise more than seven years ago on numerous occasions. In fact, they said seven years ago, they had prototype solid state batteries. No one's seen them. They don't appear to even exist. Even though Toyota still claim on their website, they have the world's best engineers working on this technology and it's imminent. Any day it will arrive, any day. I think QuantumScape, uh, even though they're promising possibly more than they're actually delivering, well ahead of Toyota in the development of solid state batteries. And if either of these two companies is going to massively commercialize solid state batteries, it is most certainly not Toyota. While this milestone brings us closer to our ultimate goal, there's still a lot to do before the technology becomes a commercial product. And we now turn our attention to this important work, said Jagdeep Singh, CEO and co-founder of QuantumScape. The A0 sample sent to OEMs 
for testing are part of the company's first generation of prototypes and feature two and feature 24 layers, each comprising a solid state separator, a cathode, and an in situ formed lithium metal anode. Subsequent generations, B and C, are expected to bring more improvements over the coming years. So you're not going to see these batteries in EVs within the next 12 months, that's for sure. QuantumScape, though, has the Volkswagen Group and Bill Gates among its biggest investors. They put in a lot of money between them. And last year, it managed to achieve an impressive goal in the laboratory with an older 10-layer cell prototype. The tested cells retain more than 80% of their capacity after 800 charging cycles, or the estimated equivalent of 240,000 miles in an electric car. That's 386,000 kilometers And that's an impressive step forward. In fact, those are the best results we've seen in the industry so far. The Californian company isn't the only one trying to bring solid state batteries to market though. StoreDot, Solid Power, who say that BMW are gonna make their solid state batteries for them in conjunction with them or something like that. I'll have a new video about that coming soon. There's also Samsung SDI, Prologium, Nissan, Toyota. There's a vast array of companies saying that Their solid state technology is the best and it'll be here at any moment. Just wait, it'll be here soon, they're saying. Sounds a bit like hydrogen technology to me. Maybe not though. Now, obviously, solid state batteries have one big advantage. The potential to offer charging times to go from zero to 80% in around 10 minutes. Some of them even say five minutes. They also have a lower risk of fires because the electrolyte is solid and lower manufacturing costs theoretically. Also theoretically, sodium ion batteries have lower manufacturing costs. In fact, not just theoretically, but in the real world. And they're coming this year. In fact, three different battery companies, two of them, the two biggest battery companies in the world, already have sodium batteries that are coming into EVs and to battery storage this year. Now, sodium batteries have much less energy density than obviously the proposed energy density of solid state batteries, but they're much, much cheaper and they're actually commercially viable. So do investors agree with what I've just said? Well, maybe, maybe not. But if you look at the stock price of QuantumScape, you get a pretty good idea of what investors think about the technology. On the 24th of December, 2020, When QuantumScape delivered some promising news about their solid state batteries, the stock hit an all time high of 114 US dollars. Since then, it's well fallen a long way. It's now down to around half the price of its initial IPO. Its IPO was on the 28th of August, 2020, and the price hit 22 US dollars within a matter of days. Now the price is sitting at $5 and 44 cents. As you can see, investors think maybe there's something here, but we don't think it's coming anytime soon. And in fact, maybe there's nothing here. Honestly, I don't think investors think this is ever going to work. If you look at the stock price, look at the current falls, look what's happening. I honestly don't think investors see a lot of potential future in solid state batteries, period. And that doesn't mean that's true. I do think these batteries will eventually come to market. It's just going to take a lot longer than they're all promising. Unfortunately, all the big promises haven't really amounted to much so far. But the fortunate thing is here, though, that as a result of these challenges, it's meant that companies have had to innovate. And as a result of that, we have now sodium ion batteries, which will drastically reduce the cost of energy storage and of electric cars in the future. In fact, not just in the distant future, in the very near future. Now let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, my friends, have a great day. Bye-bye.